YouTube, this is LuckyJ714, and today I'm going to teach you how to ride a waveboard. Um, I have some videos that I'm going to make in a little bit that I'll sh also show some skills, but it's a little cold outside, so I can't really do anything. Okay. So what you just saw is fairly what you're going to learn today. First, I'm going to start off with the, uh, which way you're going to put your foot. It would help if you know how to skateboard or even just ever rode one. It would actually really help. So, say that you're comfortable facing this way. It's called Goofy, if you didn't know. And you're going to put your foot, front foot and hold it there. But if you're regular, which is facing the other way, you're just going to do the same exact thing. So, at first, you're just going to take this. Wait, go a little back. push off and put your back foot on. You don't have to really wiggle it or anything yet. But what you want to be able to do before you can do it, before you can really start, you got to learn how to balance. You can only make it three feet. It's good enough, but it's probably because you're not pushing hard enough because you should easily just go far. Like say that I took two pushes or something. I could easily make it maybe 10 feet without falling. So, but now I'm going to teach you how to wheel board the back very gently to make you keep on going. Which is really like the kicks, the like the way you keep the wave board going. So all I have to do is just like is like bend your knee almost. Or like flop it, that's what I would call it. Flopping your back knee, or like swinging it back and forth. You could either, I would say maybe flopping it would be the hardest to balance. If you want to flop it, it's okay, but it's probably a little harder to balance. If you just want to it, it's pretty easy. Okay. Now that you got the hang of that, Hopefully, at least. I'm going to teach you how to stop. I mean, go a little faster. Yeah. Go a little faster and stop. So what you want to do is either make a turn like that. I'll teach you how to do a sharp turn in a minute. But, well, okay, I'll tell you how to do a sharp turn. Really? It's just... Well, that's number one thing you shouldn't do. But, uh... So, ugh, God... <laughs> that was dumb. Okay, so what you want to do is you definitely got to get the hang of turning. Because if you can't even like turn a little bit like this or something like that, then you will never be able to do what I'm about to show you. So what you want to do, you might think you're gonna fall, but kind of put your hand down, this down. Try to revolve around it. Do like 360 in a circle. And then once you get the hang of that, just all you have to do is go straight and then just turn like that if you saw that. Oh, uh, here, I'll do another tip. you to be able to lean backwards, but I don't like lean, uh, I'd rather lean backwards, but if you want to, you can lean forwards, but I don't really like that, unless you're going fast downhill, like this, and you kind of have to, which is not what I like to do, I like feeling safer, but okay, so, now, what else should I teach you? Well, might as well. You, you just gotta practice a lot. Doing turns like that. And, when, and even try to time yourself to see how long you can do things. Because once you get the hang of that, you will be perfect for what I'm about to teach you. And no, that's not what I'm about. Okay. I'm about 
have to teach you, if you want, in one second, is, um, what should we do? Might as well. If you really want to learn this, you can, but there's no point. It's just something to show your friends how to use. After doing it for like 10 seconds, I'll say. Okay. So, what you're gonna do is just literally do a lean back and do a wheelie. If you ever done it on a bike, it's really simple. Just lift your front foot up and push a little bit on your back. It's really be easy. I seriously can't do very good back wheelies, but when it comes to front wheelies, I can pop it. They're not very high though. something like that people would like things quick thing. And what should I do? Oh yeah, maybe I should do something. You ever heard of something like the compass? The skateboard compass? It's very hard to do on the skateboard, but obviously with this it couldn't be simpler. Short turning really small. And that's my video. See you later, YouTube. Hope you could do that. And if you have any problems, send me a video and I'll see if I could uh, do anything about it. Like, send me a video saying if you couldn't balance right or something. Which I don't know is that why it's that hard, but just send me the video and hopefully I'll get I'll probably get back to you because I'm on YouTube like a lot. So see you later, YouTube. Bye.